If you ever want to go somewhere you probably shouldn't be, just grab a hard hat. It's amazing where you can go with one of these things on. This is what Computex looks like the day before. Actually, it's like half a day before the event. The amount of work that goes into putting this thing together in a very short period of time is mind-boggling. Here you can see the sea of booths that are being put together. This year, like last year, they're focusing on more than just computers. We're talking about AI. Uh, we're also talking about the entire Internet of Things. I'm mostly going to be doing sort of an uncouth uh, style this year. You guys get the same videos from different YouTube channels, so we'll try to focus on the entire experience here. This is the uh, Morpha X from Epic Gear. Check this out. It's pretty modular all the way around. You can change your switches, change out your body, change out the colors mainly for that. Even pick your own sensor. Check that out. This device here was developed for a very specific use case scenario, uh, mainly one that Barnacles has, picking up PS2 to USB converters. That is the only thing that this device can do. This Pico projector right here, you got a screen on top, and the, the clarity is actually pretty surprising. If you need like a tiny little projector, this is pretty cool. This is the I-Beam Block L400 Deluxe. As Zotac's showing off their new 1070-based gaming backpack for VR primarily. Two hour battery, it's improved a little bit since last year and it's also hot swappable so as soon as you're finished you just pop that one out and swap a new one in. Now uh, they're going to be having a tournament so I'm going to probably go check that out at the end of the event uh, in the week. Let me know if you guys are curious to see people wearing this thing, uh, you know, doing, on, doing a full on tournament. Acer's PE0 looks pretty cool and I think they've got an uh, interesting idea here to cut back on some of the glare. Just putting like a little flag on each side right here. It's just like in the film world. Got like barn doors. These things move as well. You can buy Bricks VR. I'm not sure what's in there. And there's no one here to tell me, so let me know if you guys want me to go check this out. I'm guessing a 1070. Could be a 1080 though. Here's NVIDIA's new Shield TV. Um, it's got a lot of angles. It's the first thing I noticed as far as the status go. I'm not sure what's on the inside. I'm sure they're new as Tegra. And this will do all kinds of things. Play its own games, stream games. Um, the controller has a very interesting look. And I thought it was going to be, you know, maybe a little bit weird with all these lines through it. But it actually is pretty comfortable. And on the back there's some contours for your fingers, as you can see right there. And it just, it just, it fits pretty well. So and it feels, you know, well made. Can't complain here. This really uh, was kind of taking over the awards show for a little while with all their devices. Got the new Zenbooks. Zenbook 3 over here. Need an extra screen. With a stylus right there. Asus Zen screen. This is the X-Pump. Uh, this received about 2,000 backers on Kickstarter. I'm not the usual one for simulated surround sound, but then he played this, and what it's really doing is it's doing extreme channel isolation and then real-time processing so that you can really hear what's going on in the left and right, and it makes it sound like it's coming from multiple directions. So it sounds like multiple channels. It's doing it with just these two speakers. It's not going to beat like 7.1 channel system in your home, but look, you've got two speakers. It didn't have that silly echoey thing going on that a lot of the simulated surround sound that I've heard uh, had. As I was going a little bit overboard right here with the uh, gigabit ethernet on this Z270 super carrier. Three of them right there uh, with the red one there. It's pretty ridiculous. So tons of bells and whistles on this model. Take a look at that VRM, it's looking nice. Uh, even have extra power down here. Uh, you got the SATA Express and all your different setup ports, but there's extra power right down here. Power reset on board. Uh, and then we've got, you know, armor or I guess some certification, we'll call it. Uh, isolated audio. Just looks like a pretty loaded motherboard here um, from ASRock. Asus over here has the ROG Maximus 9 Extreme. Uh, the big thing with this one is just the water cooling is already built in. You just basically plug up your tubes and you're good to go. So you got the aesthetic, water blocks built right on top, no fuss there. Just build your system and go with it. The Master Case, uh, this is the Master Case Pro 6. I cannot wait to uh, check one of these out. We just did a build in the uh, Master Case 5 you guys will be seeing about right now. Uh, the Master Case Pro 6 looks really nice. If it's as nice to build in, I'm going to want one. So that's pretty much what we have here at the opening. There's a bunch more, uh, you know, things I could look at. 
they don't really have uh, the specs listed for all of them, so we'll wait till the show floor. But let me know, uh, you know, if anything here really caught your eye and you want to know more about it.